Yo, what is going on, you crusty Kerbominable? Today we're playing some games with Andrew Mahone's... Uh, it actually might be JW's... Uh, Snorlax, Stinger deck, uh, in Expanded. Really the coolest deck to come out of Expanded. Come out of Collinsville Regionals, uh, kind of in general. Super fun deck, because it has Snorlax VMAX, and it has Stinger in it. It really doesn't get that much better than that. Now, I know this is not Mahone's exact 60 from Collinsville, uh, but uh, he did say that the cards he would change in the deck is he would cut the Rapid Ash line, which we have done. Uh, he would add a Gloom with the Irresistible Aroma to help against the control decks. So maybe on PTCGO ladder, this won't really do a whole ton, but it's really cool. So we're putting it in there anyways. And then he would add a, oops, not him, a Poiple uh, to the list to uh, better allow us to use the Stinger dude in the Naganadel GX. Those are the changes he said he would made, would make Changes he said he would make, so I made them uh, when we're playing with the list today. So not Mahone's exact 60, but the 60 he said he would have played if he could go back and change cards. So of course we're switching it to that, and that's what we're going to be playing some games with here today. The Snorlax VMAX, Muck, Altaria, Stinger, Gloom uh, deck. Let's go ahead, let's play some games. I'm super excited. All right, here we go. I think we do want to go first. We do play a lot of quick ball. We play four quick ball, four ultra ball. We are going second. Oh, we are going first. Okay. Yeah, we play a lot of... Ooh. This hand is not ideal. All right, let's see what our opponent's playing here. Yeah, this hand is far from ideal. Um, double trub. All right, it got a little bit better with that top deck. That is for sure. How far do I want to go this turn? All right, let's go somewhere. Let me get rid of both of these. gonna grab myself probably a, a lax to get the uh, potential for that turn two lax swing yeah I don't see anything better than that gonna go ahead shuffle the muck back in the deck because we might want him for later who knows because who knows what the heck our opponent's playing and then yeah just draw some cards um uh oh all right put down I don't, do I want to bench the collector Gonna go collect it. Um, put down the Snorlax V. I don't even know, man. We could just, uh, could just pass. We're just gonna pass. We're just gonna pass here. Yeah, I was like, eh, uh, eh, pass. Yeah, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna pass. All right, it's Ultra Necrozma from our opponent. Please don't KO my Mincino. He didn't mean it. It was just a joke. Leave him alone. With the evolution, I've been seeing evolution instance in this deck, so I don't understand it. Why don't you just play treasures? Maybe they play four treasure, four nest ball, and evolution instance. The pass from our opponent. Thank goodness, we can still make do. We don't need the gloom in this matchup, so we're gonna make do that fool. Uh, get rid of him. We don't really need Grimer either. Ooh, ooh, oh no, no good, no good, no good. Uh, we can go into collecting though. Yeah, we can just retreat and collect. Um, seems good. I mean, I don't know about good. It seems all right. We're going to bench the other VMAX here. Hit that collect for two. Just need a little bit more guard. We need anything going on right here. Um, I don't even know how we want to go about winning this game. We could just keep swinging. Um, hmm. All right, go go Snorlax VMAX. Snorlax V. We could AZ this guy. I don't even know. I don't even know how we want to go about this. We're down a field blower, so getting access to abilities is going to be pretty tough. Um, here comes the, ooh, they had a, oh, they were just chilling. They were just waiting. Yeah, they had both ability lock. Well, they didn't have to put both in hand. They chose to put both in hand. All right. It's fine. Um, let's top deck a big lax or an ultra ball. I don't really want to top deck ultra ball, though. Let's not top deck ultra ball. Let's top deck the big lax here. Or a cold, uh, no, I want to top deck big lax. Give me, just, just give me the, the big lax top deck, please. Here we go. 170. It's fine. It is the... Lucky egg build is pretty good actually. I think. Oof, not a good top deck. All right, we can just AZ the boy. Send up the collector again. Go we'll collect that tax. There we go. One, two. There's the big lax. All right, we can start swinging on the next turn, uh, and we're in business. I don't. Do we want a stinger? We could stinger. We could set up to use stinger, um, and then just three energy away from winning the game. So we could go about it that route if we wanted to. Seems a little iffy. 
Here comes a field blower getting rid of our floatstone, but that's fine. We're not too worried about that. There's the luster of downfall. I don't. I could stinger. I'm like thinking if I want to stinger. Now it's harder to stinger because I got rid of our thing. I think we should start swinging. Uh, yeah, just lax and swing. Um, I'll go lax. Um, attach. How many items do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna quick ball away. Stinger. We've checked out of the stinger strat. Um, I get a get a Menzino. If we get a field blower. It'd be nice to just draw and then draw. All right. G Max fall. We could put a Skyfield in play. Um, now we might want to use that for later. Uh, G Max fall. G Max fall. Here we go. Knock out the Ultra. The egg does draw them a card. We get a ooh another via seeker because we are going to be using AZ. We're going to AZ this guy, hit him again. We do need to find our special charge or our dowsing machine to get back more triples at some point to have a chance though. We do need to do that. If we don't do that, we will actually just lose the game. So, do need to find our second special charge. We did unfortunately already lose a special charge here, um, so we need a dowsing machine or a special charge. There's another luster of downfall. Nothing else to go with it on the turn. That's pretty good for us. That means they don't have that great of a hand. Or I mean, I guess it doesn't mean that for sure. All right, give me the. AZ. AZ, the, the big active. Send up this guy. Bench this guy. Evolve this guy. And then triple to the active. I'm going to go ahead and throw out one of these now. And then G Max. Uh, bench the Swablu as well. Why not? G Max fall. Knock out the Ultra Necross. We'll get ourselves another prize card. Hopefully, it's a Colrus. Ooh, all right, not too bad. Get ourselves a Colrus, get ourselves swinging again on the next turn, hopefully. Hopefully they whiff an attack. They're down two Ultras, two big energies. Um, all right, they got the big energies back, the double dragon energies. Uh, they're big in this, they're big in all their matchups. That's probably why they were holding the hand. They probably have, well, that's a big hand to be holding. I actually don't know what they could possibly have. All right, there's an N, that's unfortunate. There goes our Colrus, no, come back, please. Uh, hopefully our opponent does not hit the attack off that N to five. And not that we hit anything else ourselves, but hopefully they don't hit anything. Hopefully they whiff. All right, big whiff from our opponent. Pass over to us. There's a stretcher. Wouldn't be able to really get anything that we'd actually want. Um, gonna float the Swablu. And I guess we're just playing in. We do need to see some more cards, so. before There's the special charge. Unfortunately... Not a lot else to go with it. We're definitely going to play the special charge. Increase our t chances of top decking. I guess I could have retreated the Snormax with the uh, the float stone. But I don't even know what I would have. I could have retreated to this. I don't know. That wouldn't have been that good. Yeah. No, I don't even think it would have been that good. All right. That's not an Ultra Necrozma. That's good. They still need to find themselves another Ultra Necrozma. Uh, there's a stretcher. That's an Ultra Necrozma. Uh-oh. Now they need to find a double dragon, though. They do have a lot. There's the counter energy. That does work. We are ahead on the prize exchange. Another stretcher. Another ultra necrosa. Oh, man. Oh, into the deck it goes. That doesn't make any sense. You should have shuffled. You should have put that on your bench. That makes no sense to shuffle that into the deck. You need that. Like, there's no reason. Another ability lock card. <laughs> another one. All right. So they're playing heavy ability lock card. Maybe even no trash on which is good for us to not have to worry about, I guess. But definitely interesting. All right, here's the hit onto our Snormax. All right, so we get Ultra Ball, no good pass to our opponent. Gonna let them draw these three prize cards. Hopefully, now we're hoping we top deck a Via Seeker to end and then get a triple. That is gonna be our ideal draw here. They're gonna hit us with this Luster of Downfall here. We're hoping we uh, pull off that uh, those shenanigans. There's another Ultra Necrozma <laughs> to the hand. There it goes. GDE, Luster of Downfall. All right. Top deck and here we go. We can do it. I guess a Colrus would be okay, but then we lose the Guzma on our Dedenne. Yeah, it needs to be that N. Top deck via Seeker for N. That's a muck. That's not good. Oh, no. I think this one has just about slipped away from us. Gonna have to go ahead and... Pass. <laughs> Hopefully they don't have a Guzma or a Great Catcher. Great Catcher would also knock out our Dedenne. That's a Guzma. That's game. And we're going to lose to our opponents. Garb. Lots of ability locks. Garb. Ultra Necrozma deck. Kept it close for a little while. Kind of slipped away there at the end. 
see if we can't get him next time. All right, getting into another one. Hopefully, ending up with a little bit better result. Lightning metal fighting. Uh, let's find out. Letting us go first. That's fine with me. Going to go ahead and open up the. Oh man, this hand kind of stinks. Gonna open the egg. Although we did lose access to egg. All right, Mulligan is nice to see here. Yeah, this hand. A lot of really cool cards leaving. It looks like Pikaram. All right, Pikaram it is. Gonna need the Altaria to protect ourselves. Maybe we just go into a Stinger and then knock out a Pikaram as well. That could be our gameplay. We don't have anything to protect our bench though from Tag Vault. So that's probably not the correct way to go about this. I would like to draw an extra card, thank you. All right. Fine, now we can actually, okay, this is getting better and better. We can quick ball away the triple and then special charge it back. Um, get ourselves. I mean, Sudowoodoo is always good against these these aggressive turn one decks. Sudowoodoo can put in some data, put in some work actually, like limit that limit limiting that one bench space. Yeah, we don't want to stinger because then we get tag bolted and lose the game. We don't have anything to protect our bench. Altaria is prized, so we do have that fighting weakness, which they probably play a Marshadow. So that's a little scary. Um. I think we're gonna set up big laxes. Starts with, I think I just want the Mencino to be honest. Set up the two Cincinos on the next turn, ideally. Yeah. All right. I'm in. Drawing cards is pretty cool. So let's do it. And dead a change. Um. And pass over to our opponent. Hopefully they full blitz knock out our egg and we get to use our egg. We got a sky field, it's gonna be able to open up our bench. We could have went and got, the one thing we could have got this turn right now would have been the, the pseudo widow. Um, I don't really, I don't think I regret it. Just could have been nice, yeah. Could have been nice, we should still be fine. We're afraid of Marshadow and that's about it. Yeah, Marshadow is gonna be annoying to deal with. We should be fine though, we should, I'm not too worried about it. He's just kind of annoying. Three lightning to the discard part. Not even attaching to the active. What the heck is going on here, bro? Put that energy on the active. Nest ball. Jirachi. Jirachi in expanded? I don't know about that. That is definitely suspicious. Retreat to the Jirachi. Comes the Stellar Wish. Yeah, Sudowoodo is going to be very good here if we can uh, sacrifice the space from, which I think we will just be able to do. I'm not even that, that worried about it, to, to be honest, at this point now. Double E power, they're gonna be hitting this egg super hard and a hood. Yeah, they are really trying to knock this egg out. All right, seems fine. Uh, setting up Muck would also be pretty nice, actually. Maybe I should've got Ditto instead of a second Mencino. I don't know, drawing, once again, drawing card seems kind of good, though. Looks like they're not even gonna knock out our egg, though, this turn. Looks like they, oh, never mind. maybe I spoke too soon. I was like, it looks like they whiffed. Uh, they're not done yet, though. Here comes the Dance of the Ancients. What do they need? E, Thunder Mountain, double E switch. Did they retreat? Yeah, they did whiff. All right. I am uh, down for that. Let's see. Gonna throw out a Skyfield. Floatstone. Quick ball away this. Grab a Shaman. Ultra ball away these two. Grab the Sinzino. Drawing cards. We're drawing cards here. Set up with Shaman. Can knock out this and then a Picaram and then a Zerora or the Dedene, and then we should just win the game. Don't have everything we want yet. Don't have a chorus. That's the big thing missing here. We got the Sudowoodo, trap their bench. Ditto is pretty good as well, but so is just the Winona to get out the lax stuff. I think I like the Winona. Ooh, we'll see. This, this, this. Now we need to use our make do's. To find some stuff we can make do the float i don't think we need the float anymore i'm gonna make do it there's two chorus would have been nice to use a chorus as well not gonna lie make do a chorus again we whiffed all right so lax comes down big lax goes over there ditto because we do want to set up muck and then um i think pass unfortunately 
Yeah, hit him with the pass. All right, we did whiff the attack. I don't know. Could We could have dug with the make-do first and tried to find a chorus, but I like kind of the idea of just using the Winona. It set up the second Snorlax. It got this Snorlax. It got the second Cincino. Felt pretty good. Obviously, didn't get the attack, but we're not, like, behind or anything. We're still in a really good spot, so we'll see how it goes from here still. I don't think we're, like... We've lost the game or anything based on that play. We're still chilling. Should have maybe tried to dig for the Colrus, or I could have used Ultra Ball for Lele for Colrus. That didn't seem quite as good. I think getting the Cincino plus just using the Shaman for six was probably just as good um, as that play. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that trade-off. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what our opponent has here. What they go with. Uh, they should definitely be able to full blitz at this point on this turn. They expanded Pikaram, so if they don't full blitz, uh, something's wrong. Yeah, if they, don't, if they don't full blitz on this turn, uh, they probably messed up at some point. Because there's no way Pikaram and Expanded on turn 2 isn't getting off the full blitz. Let's say you're really unlucky. Not happen. Never happens. There's the Nest Ball. Let's see what they grab. I guess we have the Muck to shut down the Marshadow anyway. So we don't really need the Altaria, actually. The Altaria is just nice because it can evolve in one turn. There's a Guzma. Bringing up my Pseudo Wudo. Are they just going to knock it out with the Plasma Fists? That doesn't seem very good. Uh, I'm not 100% against it, though. It looks like that is going to be their game plan. All right, that's fine with me. We're going to draw for turn. Ultra Ball away, AZ, AZ plus a top deck. Get that muck. Um, and then play the chorus. We're actually almost already decked out. We have, like, no deck left. All right, go egg. Draw for turn. Oh, not a special charge. All right, we're going to get rid of the Sky Fields and the AZ here. The muck. Yeah, we have two Sky Fields left. We'll be chilling. Evolve to Muck. And then here comes that big Colrus for uh, 11? 3, 7, 10. I don't, know where I, got I don't know where I got 11 from. Another big max. Make do. Get rid of Quick Ball. We just want to keep the Pokemon around, I think, in general. Make do an Ultra Ball. Ultra Balls take up a lot of cards to use. Let's keep the Quick Balls around instead, actually. I'm flipping and flopping here on what I'm discarding. Keep the Pokemon for sure, though, because if they replace our stadium, we're going to want more Pokemon to be able to fill up our bench. There's that 270 hit on the Zeraora. And that's just going to be the concede from our opponent. I don't blame him there. That was not looking good for him. All right, getting into another one here. Uh, playing against our opponent's Dragon-only deck, so I have no idea what they're playing. It's probably... Ultra Necrozma and... ADP? I don't know. There's only Dragon type in their deck, though. I did I didn't notice that before the game started. Uh, we are going first. All right. Did get a mulligan. That's fine. Not a big deal. We get a decent start off this next hand we see. This would have been not great if we just had a basic with it. Well, we had the Ultra Ball, so I guess we could have like set up or something. It would have been fine. Would not have been that big of a deal that I changed. Whatever. Shuffle it back in. Do some new cards. Ditto and the max. Okay. Rest of the hand is not ideal, but we can definitely work with it. See what our top deck is. See what our opponent's active is as well. And then uh, see where we go from there. Is Ultra. Surprise, surprise. So I think we're going to go with Quick Ball Away Gloom. Grab a Shaman. Or we could just grab the. Egg. Huh. Take a look through the deck real fast. Grab the egg. I do want to find some more basic Pokemon. Um, Dowsing. The Quick Ball. Propagate. And then I'll Quick Ball it away again. And then we'll see setup, I think. Find some more stuff to work with here. It looks like a straight ultra deck from our opponent here. Maybe I could have like gone for Dead Change instead. That's pretty good though. I'm not gonna complain about this hand at all. It's about as good as it gets to be honest. Quick ball away this guy. Hmm. We could for just like the AZ turn one because we're gonna heal. We'll have to heal this after they hit it. Um. Could you get another Snorlax? I mean, even if they do knock it out, we don't have to AZ it immediately, I guess. We could just hit and be fine. All right, just gonna get this guy. And pass. Like, we go for Winona next turn, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
See if our, our opponent even gets the turn one attack. I mean, if they're playing a straight dragon deck, I would assume their deck is pretty based around getting off the turn one attack. Um, I guess it could not be that based around getting the turn one attack, but I would assume their deck plays for the turn one attack. There is ADP and the Guzmahala. Here we go. They're going to get off that turn one altered creation. We're going to look for the one shot on the ADP on the turn one. I think that's definitely the way to go here. I don't even know what we're gonna maybe just uh where do we go ultra ball i don't know let's see what we top deck our top deck is a big deal we could just go winona uh i don't really want to hit this if i'm not knocking it out hitting this without knocking it out does not seem worth there's the alter creation here we go top deck via seeker that is not good um okay so we're gonna go propagate Gonna Ultra Ball away, Egg, and Via Seeker. Gonna grab ourselves the Cincino. We just need more card draw here to be able to pull off a big combo. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go for the Colrus and then just hope we draw into a Skyfield and then more stuff to work with from there. It's the Skyfield that's really the big part to get us going. Um, we just need the Skyfield to get going. There's the Skyfield. All right, now we're gonna be in business here throw this guy down we can propagate uh hmm oh we can't attach this anywhere yet which kind of stinks you just quick ball the stretcher away i think yeah quick ball away the stretcher gonna get shaman and a float stone the lele set up for four Looking for an Ultra Ball or the Snorlax VMAX. There's the Snorlax VMAX. Muck, not very good in this matchup. I'm gonna proper propagate make do here. Another Snorlax VMAX. So we are hitting for 270. Just need to bench one more Pokemon to get the knockout. I think it should just be a Grimer. I don't see why it would be better to be anything else besides Grimer. So I think we're just benching Grimer. Attach active. And G-Max fall. <laughs> Knock out our opponent's ADP. Three prize cards immediately. One, two, and three. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We're, uh, we're in pretty good shape so far. Uh, they can just knock out like two GXs off our bench, though, to win the game in two turns. So we got to be careful of that happening. Um, we'll see what our opponent has. They got a pretty big hand still to work with. They just went the Guzman Hollow turn one. Still got a lot of cards around. Uh, they can pull off quite a few, quite a few plays. Great catchers. I'm sure they play great catcher. Um, or I would play great catcher in a, time, in a deck like this. There's a, did not see that coming at all. Now that I looked at it, about the giant bomb. Uh, you rarely see this card ever played. Yeah, there's the Lysander. Yeah, they're going to go after our Shamans. Luckily for us, we do have a field blower. We can field blower. Oh, they're doing it for us, actually. Get rid of our, uh, Probably get rid of the Grimer as well. It's possible. Yeah, we can get a Skyfield so we can get this back in play and then uh, evolve the Ditto. Um, I was going to say, well, they did it for us. We're, we're chilling now. They put the Lysander Labs into play, or the Silent Lab, but I guess they had to. They probably only play. They, they're a straight Dragon deck, so they probably only play uh, Silent Lab and so on. Do they have the attack, though? They went out of their way to put the Silent Lab in play, play the Lysander. Where's the Double Dragon? Do they have the Double Dragon? What's the move here? Anything, nothing, something? Double dragon, not double dragon. Uh, pass? Okay. Floatstone, another Cincino. Skyfield. Um, I'll just play Winona for the turn. Just get all this stuff out of the deck. Just go bench it down, evolve it. There's a concede. Looks like no double dragon. They brought the shaman to try and stall. Not good enough. Let me take the dub here over our opponent's ultimate across my deck. All right, get into one final one here. Got the Grimer start, but we got Ultra Ball, Quick Ball. We got some stuff to work with. It's looking pretty good, actually. Not too bad. Uh, we can get a Sensino and maybe also go after a, uh, we'll see. Grimer Ant start from our opponent. Quick ball away the Altaria. Grab this guy. We prize the other since you know. Oh no, he's there. 
All right, so grab the Mincino. Bench him. I'm gonna Ultra Ball away. Hmm, this and this. Have the stretcher for that. We're gonna grab a Shaman here. I'll draw some cards. I think I should've got the Lax instead of the, the Mincino here. All right, see what we draw. Oof. We're gonna end up Laxless unless I... I think we should end up Laxless on this first turn. And yeah, just pass over to our opponent. Yeah. Not does not feel great to end up lax. I could have got the lax instead of the Mancino, and then we could just set up to at least attack on turn two. Probably would have been a little bit better. There's a Jasmine from our opponent. Oh no. Bronze on him? Maybe? Let's see what our opponent's got going on here. I can only that's the only thing I can imagine our opponent's playing right now. Is uh Bronzong and Expanded. It's been a while since I've seen this. Yep, it is Bronzong. Alright, here we go. Bronzong from our opponent. See what the Cobalion does, because that's who they chose to get. I assume, I assume that's what they're trying to attack with this turn. There are the Bronzongs. Stadium in play, sector's 60 more damage. All right, doesn't look like they're going to get the attack turn one here. Oh, they have Shaman. Oh, never mind. They can still get there. They just need to get themselves a Battle Compressor or a Metal Energy in a way to discard Metal Energy or discard two Metal Energy with, like, the Battle Compressor. Um, and they can pull it off for sure, actually. There's a Skyfield. That'll be helpful for us. Scoop up Cyclone. Set up again. There's a Marshadow. Set up again for four. Let's see if they can get there. <laughs> the turn one Bronzong deck. That's super funny. Floatstone. We play a Marshadow, which means we do need to set up Altaria, which I just put in the discard pile. So we're going to have to fix that. And I have to get that back into play. And then there's the Beak Catch from our opponent. All right, we need to shuffle these guys in. Probably just go for a Winona. And then hit him with the collect. I don't. Uh, Muck would also. Muck is going to be pretty. Would be pretty good in this matchup as well. Maybe we should just go to set up the Muck instead. Um, all right, this guy comes down. Yeah, we could do both. Shuffle three. Attach this here. I'm gonna lele for the chorus. There it is. Just play a chorus here. We're gonna draw a lot of cards off it. Should be enough to get a Snorlax in play. Something else to set up inside the karma. Maybe we can find the Muck. Yep, there's the Muck. There is the Snorlax. There's a Pseudo Woot. We should do this as well. Really want to get that egg out and going. Well, the egg is actually just going to get shot off anyways. Because we're just going to evolve into the Muck this turn. Let's make do. Bench Pseudo Woodo. Kill off one of their important Pokemon. Not really that big of a deal. Then we're going to retreat to the Pseudo Woodo. And then evolve to the Muck. Stop the ability of... The uh, Marshadow. Should be good. Yeah. Shut it off. Let's see what our opponent's got. And pass. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're all set up. We're chilling. We're good to go. Can't really sting right there. Oh, they can hit us with the spit shot on our muck. Alright, well, we can stretch the muck line back in the deck. Um, and then get out the Altaria, I guess, in one turn here coming up. Yeah, well, that'll have to be our game plan. We're gonna have to stretch the stretch the muck line back in the deck and then get the Altaria out and going yeah, i did not expect the dce on the active cramorant when they're playing bronzong but there it is so they can do the spit shot i was like spit shots in the active so they probably can't spit shot they have to like switch or retreat double uh metal links switch then they have to play switch and expanded which is like a super slow card obviously not that ridiculously good turns out they got the uh the what's it called instead the dce <laughs> so that's gonna do it they're gonna knock out our muck Marshadow's back online, ready to try and Chaos Norlax. Gotta get the Altaria line out. It is in the deck. I don't know if I'll put the Muck line back in the deck, actually. Um, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Top deck Winona would be very good here. Yeah, using Winona would be pretty sick here. We could Winona, and then we could just get the VMAX, and then both evolutions. So yeah, top deck Winona is definitely the move here. We'll see if we get lucky on this one, or uh, or not. There's a Club Fairy. That has a uh, metronome, but if they KO our muck, their bench is going to be limited, so metronome won't really do a whole ton. Oh, they're going to snipe the shaman. Okay, so they're going to let muck chill. Hmm. Now we have to do worry about this. Of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks. Hmm. So Marshadow is shut off, but now we have to worry about metronome one shotting. No, they can't quite one shot us. They can't one shot a Vmax. No, no, no. We're chilling. We're chilling. All right. Floatstone. Um. Bench. What are we gonna Ultra Ball? We just maybe give up the second Sencino, which doesn't feel great. We could just Colrus and we'll probably hit everything. Let's just go with the, uh, let's just Colrus and probably hit everything. Plan. I'm in. I think it's a good strategy. 
And we definitely hit everything. All right, cool. V max. Small max. Triple. Uh, make do away. Yeah, I was pretty convinced that they were gonna snipe our muck there. We probably could have got rid of, rid of a skyfield actually, because uh, it does not look like our opponent is. Wait, we're hitting for. Yeah, we're hitting for more than enough. G max fall 240, 240. All right, we got him. We got the Cramorant taken care of. See where the game goes from here. Um, they can definitely go like chase this and then chase this, and then the game kind of ends. So we're gonna have to look for a field blower if that is the route they go down. If they go down, chase uh, one of these, either of these Pokemon on this turn. We definitely have to go with field blower, sky field, replace sky field, um, and then uh, end up with just this guy there. And then we're gonna go knock out this, knock out this. Okay, so they are using a great catcher, which means it has to be the Tapu Lele, which means we can evolve this to another VMAX Snorlax, and then we're still in a favor for the prize trade win, I think. Then we just win the, pri the prize trade. I think I'm gonna try and evolve this guy to be extra safe, and we should just win. Metronome, they're gonna use G-Max Fall, and uh, it shouldn't be enough. Um, let's get rid of Pseudo Wudo, because this is in play already. I'm gonna try and evolve the Solitaria, just in case, just to be safe. Try and evolve the Solitaria. Okay, there's a shrine, so it's a good thing I kept these Skyfields around, actually. We'll use a special charge, we'll attach, we'll throw the Skyfield out, we'll evolve this guy here we'll quick ball away shaman to grab a well we need two dudes on our bench actually that are non-gx's and we might want to keep shaman around to maybe become to maybe put him on the bench at the last turn so we'll see well he's not gonna be very good because uh yeah, he wouldn't be very good to put down all right send this guy up it's fine we have this guy on the bench we can always chase all right so triple this evolve special charge um, quick ball is Shaman. This guy would be a very good one to have in play. Um, we could ultra ball away that. We could just go with the Colrus here at this point, I think. Yeah, just go with the Colrus. This should net us a basic Pokemon. Actually, the chance of us this not netting us a basic Pokemon is like none. Yeah, I got some options here. All right, since you know we can't evolve, Altaria we can put down. Uh, we have, what, two Via Seekers left and a Dowsing Machine, so I'd rather have access to, let's do Ultra Ball, actually. Get rid of these two. Thin out the deck a little bit here. Just grab the Poipo. You never know. We might want it in play. Um, I don't think I want to put any more Pokemon in play. Just thin those out. We could get rid of the Gloom as well with this Quick Ball. I don't know. That seems fine. Grab. Uh, Ditto's not going to be useful. The Egg's not going to be useful. We'll just grab the Egg. Uh, we still have a Make Do. I guess we Make Do the Egg draw two there's that field blower that i was talking about um what did i even say i needed it for i completely forget all right whatever uh well we don't need it anymore because we got the second g max fall all right g max fall 240 looking at guzma bring up marshadow knock it out next turn to win the game we'll see what our opponent has on their turn they can metronome but they can't one shot us it'd be very cool if they did one shot us i don't know how they would get the extra damage because they can cap we cap out at 300 damage so they would need like muscle band something <laughs> muscle band uh kakui yeah they would need the muscle band kakui combo there's a lele can't use it because of muck i don't know if they know that i think they're realizing that right now because there's no reason to grab lele there unless you're trying to use it oh no they just realized all right going with field blower skyfield field blower our float zone we don't have another skyfield yet um we do have a lot left in the deck though so um, Poipo doesn't seem like it's going to be necessary. Neither does Altaria. I think Poipo might be more necessary than Altaria. We have Muck, so it's just off Marshadow. They shouldn't have a different fighting Pokemon they can work with here, so. Be a Seeker. If they do have N, no, it's going to be the Colrus. No N, so this should be pretty much a win for us. Oh, they got rid of their Marshadow, though. Oh, they could have got rid of this guy, too, right? Maybe not. We would have just gone AZ, this guy. We do have AZ in here, I believe. No, but I think it's in the deck, so we would have had to make do into AZ. Wouldn't have been the hardest thing ever. Now we just need to get a Skyfield. Guzma, knock this guy out, which should be pretty easy. Uh, three Skyfields left? Yeah, three Skyfields left and a Dowsing Machine. Actually, they just gave us Skyfield, so it's over. Yeah, they, they didn't need to do that. All right. Ultra Ball. They got a bunch of interesting dudes in here. <laughs> they don't even play any that many draw supporters. 
We've just seen a chorus, and then it's just the Jasmine turn one and try and pop off. I can see the draw power through the Dene through the Shaman, which is pretty good. Um, fast flight configuration. All right, buddy. Yeah, there's the G-Max fall, but like I said, they can't. They can only hit for, even if they had one more bits of Pokemon. They're still 40 damage short. V-Max Onox is a big dude. Um, all right, let's see. Look at a evolve. We don't want to evolve that just in case. Just gonna get rid of it, I guess. Let's grab ourselves a Ditto. Two Skyfield and Dowsing Machine. We have a Skyfield prize. All right. Make do. Let's get rid of. Dene, I guess. There's a Skyfield. Oh, wait. Wait, no, they already have Skyfield in play. Oh my gosh, what am I digging for? They already have Skyfield in play. I was like, we need Skyfield. They gave us Skyfield again, that's right. I was still stuck in the past of them replacing our Skyfield. We had it the whole time. Just bench the Ditto, play the Guzma. That's it, that's a game. We take the dub with VMAX Arcs. And that's gonna do it for this video on the VMAX Snorlax deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.